Hello everyone, it is Andrew here from IDB. Apple kind of got out of the monitor business in 2016 and instead partnering with LG. No longer is Apple's Thunderbolt display something you can actually purchase as it was discontinued in June of 2016. Now, LG has released two monitors that it partnered with Apple to create and are very Apple-esque. They have a 21.5 inch monitor that is 4K and then there is an ultra-fine 5K model that comes in at 27 inches. Both of them support the brand new really popping color P3 color gamut that looks great, especially photo shot on the new iPhone 7 that supports that wider color gamut as well. Now though Apple did not create these monitors, you can definitely feel their influence. For instance, there are zero buttons on this monitor, instead you can make all those settings changes that you need to using the actual controls on the Mac instead of through that kind of weird overlay display that a lot of other monitor makers would use. It's also nice how you can actually use a magic keyboard to adjust the brightness on your display and the volume, and you can use the one on your regular keyboard to control your MacBook or your MacBook Pro. It does come with a USB-C cable, and that is one big difference. This monitor uses USB-C, whereas the 5K version uses Thunderbolt 3. On the back of the monitor, there are three additional USB-C ports, and then there's that one that'll supply power to your MacBook, as well as drive the display. It is very adjustable, both going up and down, as well as being able to tilt and it has a very solid base and it's actually really, really smooth and easy to use. You can actually do this all with one finger without ever having to worry about moving your display. What is kind of a little bit of a bummer is there's no rotation to this. So if you ever did need to rotate your display, you're stuck on actually just turning it yourself. Though it's not really that big of a deal because that's definitely something that you can do. These are definitely forward facing monitors as both of them simply use one cable to drive the display. Now this does use USB-C, so it'll work with the 2015 MacBook and the 2016 MacBook, as well as the new MacBook Pros, but the 5K version really only works with the Pro version because it does Thunderbolt 3 instead of standard USB-C. Another slight limitation, when you are using this monitor and that hub on the back, those additional ports will be limited to USB 2.0. I have to say though, this is a fantastic monitor for the MacBook. It really is feel like living in the future when you can plug in that one cable. I'm charging my MacBook while powering my display and that hub right on the back. I love using it with my book arc where it's just simply one thing plugged in, or I have something like the base lift under my MacBook that works really great for driving two monitors, which is really my approach. I like doing this, especially in having independent controls over brightness. The speaker bake in does a decent job, but it can sell, uh, sound a little muddy when it gets to the really loud volumes. Color wise and screen resolution, this is absolutely amazing. When you have the 5K version, it does pretty much come in at the same PPI though, so they will look pretty much the same and they both support that color gamut. Now, if I was still using my MacBook, this would absolutely be the best monitor that I would pick, but I have the new MacBook Pro. Where this monitor feels a little bit short, I wish I had that Thunderbolt 3 instead of USB-C. I wish the ports on the back did not drop down to USB 2 when I'm using them as a hub. So if you're a MacBook Pro, open, Pro owner, you may want to spring for the bigger model, though it is twice as much for just that extra screen real estate and those other small features. Let us know what you think of these monitors down in the comments, and if you'd like to pick them up, of course we put links in the description below. Please subscribe, and until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.